guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. All right, so I've kind of gotten away from doing the Marvel Collector Core um, boxes, and there was a reason for that. Um, the main reason being that most of the Marvel boxes kind of sucked, in my opinion. Uh, so I just didn't get around to, to reviewing them. But I just saw Thor ragnarok on uh sunday and i thought it was a really good movie now i am a huge marvel fan but i can't say i've always been a huge thor fan uh and the first two movies they were good uh but in my opinion they weren't great um but maybe because i just wasn't too big into thor uh because i know my cousin for one person, he uh, he loved those those movies. So, anyway, here's the Marvel box, and this one's a little smaller than usual. So, um, not sure what's in it. Let's open this up. You see, we have a little illustration of Hella on top there. And all right, so up here in the top. Thor, ah. Ragnarok, all right, and let's see what we have in here, so I'm just going to pull all this stuff out, and then we're going to take a look at it, and I'm going to say that this box is not what I expected, all right, so I just pulled everything out. Um, look in here, got a little illustration of Thor and Hulk and Hela. All right, so we're going to put that off to the side. Now, let's take a look at what we have in the box here. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the pops that came in this box. So we have Loki and we have Thor. This is um, the battle armor Thor when he's in the Colosseum, it looks like. And we have Loki. And, oh, we got something hidden back here. Oh, we got two things back here. That's pretty cool. Turns this out. All right, not cool because of what they are, but cool that it was kind of hidden back there. All right, so, um, honestly, Funko, these suck. Um, I'm not too enthusiastic about them. Uh, we, there, there's already, let's face it, this is Thor's movie. So naturally we're going to get Thor and probably Loki in a regular line. This is a exclusive sub box. This really sucks. Uh, so let's look at our pops. Here's the side of the box. Let's look at the back. All right, so we have Thor without his helmet, uh, holding like a blaster. And I believe we have him with his helmet. It's another store exclusive. So I'm going to get around to opening these in a minute. <clears throat> we have... A spinner. Are you kidding me? A spinner. All right. So Grandmaster, uh, Hella, and Loki. Oh, and turn it on the side. We have Mr. Banna, Thor, and Hulk. But we got a spinner. I'll give two rats asses about a spinner. All right. So, and I dropped that. We have playing cards. Thor Ragnarok playing cards. Why? If I wanted a novelty box, I'd order Loot Crate. We have a Hella Pen. And what are these? Magnets. We got four magnets. Really? I mean, really, Funko. And, all right, so we got a, uh, a Scully here, a Hulk Scully. 
pretty cool, but it's a scully. And then we have here, uh, there's a Hulk box coming out actually for December. Now this box shows you what went into making the box. So the sculpt, concept. And then you can just follow the process around. You can follow the process for a sucky ass box, right? Um, now I know during Toy Fair last year, um, I spoke to somebody from Funko and they kind of told me that the boxes are planned about a year out. So, I mean, the boxes are planned a year out. Why do they still suck? Uh, my suggestion, and it's just a suggestion. I do like Loki. I do like Thor. All right. We could have got rid of all the other crap. Uh, at least if this is a sub box, like I know I didn't buy the regular Loki and Thor for the movie. Uh, it just wasn't something I was looking for because I already have several of them, but, and this doesn't come with the sub box. I'm just going to put off, put that off to the side. I did pick up these two guys, Surtur and Korg. All right. These are. I think are awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I don't think too many people would have complained if you turned around and was like, you know what? I'm, uh, we're going to make these, the two exclusive pops and maybe even, even throw in Thor. So let's get rid of Loki. So here you go. Three pops in the box. Get rid of all that other junk. Thor, Surtur, and uh, Korg, and there you go. This would have been a phenomenal box. I don't think too many people would have complained. At least you're getting two pops that have never been made before, and you're getting an uh, exclusive Thor. I think that would have been awesome, uh, but what do I know? You know, I have given some suggestions for the boxes, um, but Funko kind of does their own things. I honestly think that the Marvel boxes are one of the sub boxes that they really just give two rats asses about because uh, it doesn't seem like they put a lot into those boxes and they put all these extra stocking stuffer crap in there and I'm just not feeling it. Uh, I've said this before and if they keep it up, uh, I will gladly cancel my subscription because I'm just not feeling it. Uh, but I think this would have been awesome uh, if these two right here came with the box or one or the other, because uh, then at least you're getting an exclusive pop. You're getting something that hasn't been made before, not getting a repaint of the ones that probably just aren't going to sell in the store. So... That is my take on all this. That's my take on the sub box. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it this month. Uh, I want to say that, that I am. Trust me, I really do because I am a big Marvel fan. But it's just not doing it for me. So hopefully we will see um, with future upcoming boxes. Or else I will really have to reevaluate my um, my liking of the Marvel box and whether it's worth it for me to subscribe or not. Because uh, at this point, it's kind of like you're peeing in the wind. I think, kind of. Anyway, so uh, thanks for checking me out, guys. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Ultimate Toy Collector. Uh, like the video, share it. Um, let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think about this sub box and the direction that you think Funko should go. All right. So thank you again, guys. Till next time. Happy hunting.